Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we are going to be doing the automatic rifles of Fallout 76, ranking them from worst to best. Now I'm excited for this one because this is one I want to do for a long time, because I'm pretty sure automatic rifles are the most used weapon in Fallout 76, but I wanted to save it a little bit towards later, because I didn't want my first video to be one that I didn't really do so good on. So I kind of wanted to get the hang of this before I did rifles, because I know these ones are going to be pretty important. So the way I do this is, I will grab a weapon, and I will try and clear out West Tech as fast as I can just using that weapon. And whatever weapons I can clear out the West Tech with, with the fastest time, I would consider the better guns. Because having high damage is good, but in the case like the dragon from the previous video, it does some of the highest damage, but... Because of that really slow reload and only one bullet per shot, it really does kind of drop off compared to some of the other guns to where it's a nice novelty gun, and it's a good gun for taking out things in one hit, but if you need a gun that has to hit your enemy more than once, you're going to want a gun that you don't have to wait to shoot your enemy like every 10 minutes. So. Some of the guns with the bigger clips but less damage, or higher damage but less clip size, they do have a bit of a, a factor in, so I do like to keep that in mind. This time around we have 15 guns we're going to be taking a look at, so strap in and stay seated because we're going to take a look at those in just a minute. Before we get started, here is a look at the mutations that I used during the recording of these guns. Here is another look at the perks that I used. Coming in at the number 15 spot, we have the Ultrasight Laser Rifle. This thing is not the greatest gun ever. In fact, it's probably one of the worst. It has a high fire rate, it, I'll give it that, but in terms of damage, this thing sucks. Like, it, it does like no damage, so all I have to say about this gun is green lasers and also skip it. Not worth using. Coming in at number 14, we have the Pipe Rifle. This thing's basically what you would expect a Pipe Rifle to be. It's... Actually, it, it's usable, unlike the um, Ultra Sight Laser Rifle. That, that thing just straight up sucks. But this thing, if you can get a nice Legendary roll, you can actually use this gun. But if you're not um, relying on Legendary effects, this thing kind of is still bottom tier. I wouldn't use it. Unless you really want to get rid of a bunch of 38 bullets, which... If you do not know, you can actually use 38 bullets on the fixers, so that gun is just a better option there anyways, so skip the pipe rifle as well. Coming in at number 13, we have the first usable gun, and that is the Radium Rifle. This gun is just... I mean, it's, it's underrated. I actually really like this gun, but the problem I have with it, and the problem everyone else has with it, its attachments are just a pain to get. If you want to use its attachments, you basically have to craft, like, I don't know, like thousands of these things and scrap them. So... <laughs> Unless you get a, f a radium rifle out in the wild with good attachments already on it, and then you try rolling that, maybe. Otherwise, 
you're just gonna have to hope to god you get the attachments you want when you scrap it because they are not easy to get they're like a, i think you have like a a two percent chance of getting one when you scrap it so it's it's a usable gun if you can have its attachments but attachments they're kind of a grind Coming in at the number 12 spot, we have the newest addition to the Assault Rifle roster, the Alien Disintegrator. This thing is a classic, it's from Fallout 3. It is nothing spectacular, I'd say it's mediocre at best. It's usable if you get the right legendary effects, it's even somewhat usable without them. But honestly, I would actually skip on this gun because while it does decent damage and has a decent sized clip, the ammo isn't the cheapest, so unless you're just mass crafting a bunch of alien blaster rounds, this gun does not have the cheapest ammo. So chances are you're probably going to run out of resources crafting it, so honestly, I would recommend you skip it unless you really want to use it. It is a cool gun, it's fun to use, but other than being really fun, it's nothing spectacular. <laughs> Coming in at the number 11 spot, we have the Combat Rifle. This thing is... Well, I want to be honest, this gun is basically what you would expect a rifle to be. It's solid, it's usable, but it's not amazing, and it's not bad. It's basically probably the dead middle of the road what you would exactly expect a rifle to be. That's what this gun is. It's got good range, it's got good damage, it's got good accuracy. Not the best recoil, but, I mean, it does not have the worst recoil. It definitely doesn't have the worst recoil. You will see that later on this list. There is a gun that has really bad recoil. If you play this game like I do, you probably already know what that gun is, but the combat rifle, it's just an all-around solid gun. So, that's all I can give it. It's, it's a solid gun. Coming into the number 10 spot, we have the submachine gun. This thing's damage is not that great, but unlike the combat rifle, instead of having a clip of 20, this thing has a clip of 62. So this thing can have quite a bit of ammo in its clip. But once again, it doesn't have the best damage, so really it's nothing spectacular in the damage category. But I will say, this is one of my favorite guns to use. I just absolutely love using it. Once again, nothing spectacular, just like the Alien Disintegrator, but it's actually a pretty fun gun. If you can get yourself a faster fire rate version of this gun, I recommend you try it. This gun with faster fire rate is really fun. I, I really do strongly recommend that if you get the chance to try one out, you get faster fire rate. Coming into the number 9 spot, we have the Buff Assault Rifle. This thing is... not that great. It's mediocre. It's usable. It's better as an automatic than it is as a semi-automatic, but it's still nothing spectacular. The gun that it has to compare to is... 
a pretty common gun, plus it just does more damage and is better in every way, so... It's a gun I'd skip unless you really like the way this gun looks, so... I'd, I'd pass on this thing, if I were you. Coming in at the number 8 spot, we have the Plasma Rifle. This thing is pretty good. It's got some decent accuracy, it's got some decent fire rate, it's got some decent recoil, it's overall pretty good. Um, it's not like the, um, the, well the main problem I gotta say about this gun is it shoots projectile based shots just like the Alien Disintegrator, so it's a little bit easier to miss with this gun than it is with some of the other guns like the rifles or the laser rifles so do keep that in mind but if you can kind of lead your shots a bit or if you're just like right next to an enemy and you probably won't have to do that it's a pretty solid gun it's got really good damage and also this gun has a unique version called the slug buster which you can get as part of the wastelanders story and if you're given the chance to get that gun i recommend you get it because it's actually a really solid gun and even if you don't want it i'm Sure, there's other people out there that would love to have an anti-armor version of this gun, because that is one of the effects that comes with it. So this gun is solid. Definitely can recommend. So if you can get one of these, or if you can craft one, give it a chance. It's a good gun. And if you can get a nice legendary setup, once again, really good. I can recommend. Coming in at the number 7 spot, we have the laser rifle. The only reason this thing beats out the plasma rifle is because it just shoots a little bit faster. This thing is nothing spectacular in the damage category, but it's better than the guns we've seen so far in terms of damage, so I would use it if you absolutely have to, but there is one gun you will see later on this list that takes this ammo type and just uses it a lot better. So. It's a gun I would skip, but it's a it's a decent gun. It's a solid gun. Um, when it got buffed a few months back, or about a month back, uh, I used it for like probably a day or two, and that was about it. So it's not the best. It didn't benefit the most from the buff, or I should say fix, but it's usable. Coming into the number 6, we have the 10mm submachine gun, or the 10mm SMG, whatever you'd like to call it. This gun is very underrated. I absolutely love this thing. If you can get, like, faster fire rate or explosive, this thing is really good. It is... it uses 10mm, so it's not the worst ammo type to get. It's a fairly common-ish ammo type. Not the lightest, but it's, it's a common ammo type. And that's basically all I gotta say. It's a really solid gun, and I think it's underrated. A lot of people just pass on this gun, not realizing how good it really is. This, seriously, this, this is a good gun. I really recommend you try it if you're doing automatics. Yeah. 
Let's play little. Coming in at the number 5 spot, we have everybody's reskin combat rifle, once again the Fixer. This thing is basically the combat rifle, but does more damage, and also has a built-in effect that makes you move faster while sneaking. It is, of course, as you can tell, since it's not in the number 1 spot, not the best rifle in the game. Everyone says this gun is the best rifle in the game. They're close. I wouldn't give it the number 1 spot, but it is very close. It is a very solid gun. For years, it was definitely better than it already is, but since, you know, we got the patch and some of the energy guns kind of got fixed, there's, I believe, two energy guns that will beat this thing, but this thing is overall a really solid gun, a really good gun. If you cannot get any gun ahead of this on this list, this gun is going to serve you really well, and it's a gun that I use daily, it's a gun that you'll probably see a lot of other people use daily. This gun is going to serve you very, very well. So if you can get a good roll of this gun, you're going to be set. You probably don't even need the other guns on this list, but since they're technically better, I'll let you decide that. Coming in at the number 4 spot, we have the Handmade. This thing just does a slight little bit less damage than the Fixer, but it's way more accurate. That is basically the only reason why I think this thing won is because it's just a lot more accurate, and it was easier for me to shoot the Super Mutants and get around West Tech faster, so... Handmade, just like the Fixer, if you can get a really solid version of this gun, you're gonna be set. The Fixer is a little bit harder to get than this gun, you could definitely get this thing a little bit easier. The fixer you can only craft from the plan, and the only reason, or reason, the only way to find it out in the wild is also to get it as legendary if you have the plan. Whereas with the handmade, blood eagles can use it. I believe cultists can use it, but I'm not sure on that one. It's a pretty solid gun. Once again, it's one that you can get without having any plans unlocked. You can just kind of go out and get this thing. It's a very solid gun, really good gun. Once again, basically no recoil. So if you do not like recoil in this game. This thing is your gun. This is your go-to gun. It is amazing. I wouldn't say it's as good in VATS as the Fixer is. I would say your the Fixer is basically your VATS gun compared to this thing, but this thing is your freehand gun. So that's kind of how I compare the two. This thing's really good. Absolutely give it a gold star. Coming in at the number 3 spot, we have the Enclave Plasma Rifle. This thing is basically the regular plasma rifle, but buff, kind of like how the Fixer is to the Combat Rifle. Basically everything I said to the um, Plasma Rifle basically applies here, just with more damage. Once again, really solid gun, might have to lead your shots a bit because it's a projectile based weapon, but if you don't mind that, this gun, really good, does really, really good damage, does way more damage than the Fixer. So if you can get a really good legendary version of this gun, you're going to be set. Coming in at the number 2 spot, we have the Railway Rifle. Now this thing is an absolute tank of a weapon, there's only one downside, and that is ammo. It's not, I wouldn't say it's the cheapest ammo, but it's not the most expensive. The real problem I have with this gun's ammo is it is extremely heavy. Even with bandolier on, you're still going to have trouble carrying a lot of rail spikes. So while this gun does really good damage, the downside is its ammo is very heavy. So, that is basically 
would you like to have a lot of damage but also kind of lose a bit of carry weight or would you rather just skip that and use a different weapon because basically that's what i gotta say another downside to this gun um you basically have to use it in vats this thing has the worst recoil i think i've ever seen a gun have in a video game it is atrocious you're only really going to be able to use this thing effectively in vats if you're not doing vats skip it and use something else but if you use vats this is a really really solid gun high damage if you can get explosive and anti-armor or explosive and bloodied this is probably the best thing you're going to be able to get your hands on but there's one gun that is ahead of this thing and you will see it in just a second Coming in at number one spot, we have the Tesla Rifle. Now this thing does really good damage, uses a fairly cheap slash common ammo type, and also it has an arcing ability, so even if you don't hit your target, it'll just arc to your target and hit it anyways. And even if you do hit your target, it can arc to nearby targets and hit them as well. So while this thing is just really good in terms of damage, you're gonna be getting extra damage as well to nearby enemies. So just overall, this gun doesn't have the biggest clip, so, quads might be a, a, a legendary effect you want to look out for, but without legendary effects, this thing is still really, really good. The buff slash patch that this gun got a month back really affected this gun the most. You have to use this gun if you're using automatics, because if you don't use this gun, you're missing out. You truly are. And if you're doing something like Radiation Rumble, where you want to hit multiple targets with, you know, your weapon so you can get the XP, this gun is the absolute perfect gun for that event, and it's really good for other events if you just want to tag some enemies to get the XP. So overall, this gun just, it, it, this gun's just amazing. It really, it really is. You just, there's so many different things this gun can do, and it's pretty good in all of them. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at the assault rifles of Fallout 76 and seeing what the best and worst ones are. Uh, one little thing I would like to mention before this video ends is I just did about four of these in my in the row. This is the fourth one I made in a row. So I would like to take a little break from the weapon videos for a little bit and do a few other videos so that way these aren't the only videos I have. Um, and, and while I'm working on my other videos, I would appreciate it if you guys could comment what cl uh, yeah, class of weapon you would like to see me do next. Um, I still have not done shotguns, bows, uh, any of the melee and unarmed. I have not done either of those. And I have not done automatic pistols. And I also are saving... I'm also saving guns like the um, Pepper Shaker because that one is a bit of an interesting gun. I wouldn't classify it as either a shotgun or heavy gun because it actually is affected by both. Same thing with a few other guns that are a bit weird like that. So I'm going to save a bit of the weird weapons for their own video, like, I don't know, like a Misfits type video of guns that are kind of weird and kind of have their own rules to them. So if you have any preferences of which videos I should make next, I would appreciate it if you let me know what class that you want me to do. But um, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys all later. Take care. Have a good day.